It was me, Jalen Rose, Steve Francis, Marbury, bro. My ones, I didn't have some ones from killers. And it was fun, bro, playing all the, yeah. the only one, the only person I never beat, bro, was Jimmy Butler, bro. The OGs are back. Yes, sir. We don't have everybody in here, but we wanted to make sure we got this one in because there's a lot to tell. One of, I think, the NBA's best athletes of all time, oh, not only sure. because of winning the dunk contest. Not we, once. we ain't never had it. We ain't never had a not dunk once, contest. Not twice. But three times. We, we ain't never had it one time. Well, I'm a good finger roll guy. You might have had one dunk. <laughs> <laughs> and I might. But, <laughs> but outside of that, just playing two sports in college. Um, you know, being a three-time NBA dunk contest, doing the stuff that you've done. But we really want to, one, we really appreciate you being here, even if it's on, uh, you know, basically a Zoom situation. Yes, sir. Thank you. But mo most importantly, talk to us about your health and where that's at, because I'm sure that puts things, a lot of things in perspective. We were just talking about your family yeah, and, does, and what your career has done, but where you're at now. Uh, I mean, it, it's a little setback. One thing about I, that, me personally, I can honestly uh, – I just thank God for every opportunity that's happened in my life, even with these kidney situations, because it's got me to slow down a lot sure. where I can take my time to appreciate life itself. You know, when you, we get good things going and we don't really think about stuff, we just live, you forget about, you know, some of the things that help you get to where you're at in life. And for me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with this whole situation with my kidneys, man, it's just, uh, I think, just, you know, God wanted me to slow down and just, you know, you know, he told me to come here right quick. Let me, let me let me talk to you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let me slow you down a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh, and you know, when it, when it's time, I'll give you what you need, man. And right now, I'm just enjoying my, you know, my time with my with my loved ones. You know, with my with my kids. Uh, you know, friends and family. And you know, I'm just enjoying time in life. Uh, I think, you know, dealing with this you know situation with my kidneys, man, it's opened my eyes where, you know, I can talk about it and and help others. Uh, that's in the situation because yeah. you know it, I know it would be for me if I was a high school kid going through something like this it would be scary and I wouldn't know how to cope or deal yeah. with something like this and to know like a guy like Nate Robinson's going through it um, uh, I know that you know I can be uh, you know somebody's reason to, to keep fighting and keep going because it, it's, it's wear and tear on you you know mentally you know with this whole situation man yeah and you know when I, you know when I go to dialysis and I go, you know, plug in and they clean my toxins and they clean my, you know, my blood and you know I'm going through my whole, you know, dialysis treatment. Um, you know, there's different types of people that are sitting next to me going through the same thing, and every morning I go into dialysis at 5:30 in the morning or something like that, and there's a lady and her son. Her son comes and sits with her, yeah. and she's blind. So she's blind and yeah. she has kidney failure. So it's like, how can I, you know, be down or in the dumps about what I got going and she can't even see and she's going through mm -hmm. what I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? So I just, you know, I just, yeah. I just try to be, I, I humble myself. I be thankful for, you know, things that I do have. I can see, I can taste, I can, you know, feel, mm -hmm. you know, I can walk. You know, there's a whole bunch of things that, you know, so many people go through that they don't get the chance to do any of those things. You know, so I take mm -hmm. my time to really thank God for, you know, every opportunity. And it's weird because I built relationships with some of the people that are there, some people that work there, some people that are actually going through dialysis itself. Um, and, you know, we have those conversations in the morning, man. And just, you know, how you doing today? You feeling better today, better than most, you know, some guys, you know, some people, uh, you know, Rest in peace had passed away since I've been there. You know, I've been seeing people come and go. And I've been, you know, yeah. I've been going strong. And it's like, dang, like, you know, like to know like your kidneys are that much or are so important that we don't even understand or know about, you know, growing up, you know, as adults and as kids growing up, we don't know about our bodies like we think we do. We know our hearts beat, we know, yeah. you know, our yeah. extremities move and they work and 
we don't really know what they really do for us. Right. And when I learned about my kidneys and what they do, and now, you know, circling back of being a little bit knowledgeable about, you know, how I can do better and preserve my kidneys and 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 help my body out by eating better and doing some of the things that, uh, you know, that I need to do to help my help my help my like my case. Uh, so now, uh, I, I was reading, I was reading some stuff, Nate, not to cut you off there, but I was reading some stuff. So that like, you're talking about the whole process, but you do that dialysis three times a week, three right? times a week, four hours, a, a, a session. And, you know, they clean your toxins. They, you know, they poke you, make sure, you know, everything's good. Uh, you go through this whole little, you just sit there and you just sleep. And, you know, sometimes I read depending on how I'm feeling, if I'm not too tired. But, you know, sometimes I, I read a little bit, if not watch a movie, if not, I'm going to sleep, just trying to get as much sleep as I can. Uh, you know, some days, you know, they take they may take too much fluid off of you. Some days you cramp, you know, it's like, imagine, you know how you get a trolley horse? Imagine a trolley horse through your whole body, yeah. hands, feet, <laughs> neck, stomach, chest, whatever. It's just your whole body's cramping. Sometimes it, it happens, you know, they do that because they take too much fluid off. Um, Sometimes it's this thing called cyclic vomiting that a lot of people get that are on dialysis. It's like it's some sickness thing, and I I got it bad, and I get sick a lot. And that's why I couldn't make it out there to you guys. Yesterday I was at the hospital throwing up, uh, just feeling bad. I had to get dialysis an extra day, you know, because of, you know, sometimes I have too much fluid on you. Sometimes you have too much fluid. Uh, you get shortness of breath. Uh, you got to go in and get extra fluid off of you. So it, it, it's a lot, but at the same time, you start to, you know, you deal with it, you learn how to cope with it, you learn how to live with it, and then it becomes a part of life. It's a whole circle, man. And mm -hmm. like, I'm still, I'm blessed because I'm still here. Uh, I still play basketball and, you know, things when I'm having enough energy, I still go out and hoop and with my kids and, you know, play with the high school kids and, you know, show them that I still, I still can hoop and it'd be fun. You know, I, I really, yeah. I really, yeah. no, for real, I really like, really, I really don't take it for granted, you know, to be able to hoop and, you know, try to stay in shape and, still hoop and, you know, do the things that I love. You know what I'm saying? I, I, Cause I lost it yeah. for a while for the first couple of years when I was on dialysis, I didn't pick up a basketball for a while, man. And I was just down in the dumps. Felt myself, I was too tired. I wasn't doing nothing. I was in the dark a lot. And I was like, man, I gotta, that's not who I am. I'm too, I'm too positive. I'm too much of a positive, you know, person, man. I got too much life in me to, to be in the dumps like this. I've never felt this before being depressed. And, it was hard, bro. It was really hard in the first couple of years. And then I got out of it. You know what? I'm well, still you, living you, the way I want. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, Nate, man. The the OGs over here and everybody listening here, man, we're praying for you on no, this. I appreciate uh, that, bro. The prayers and, have been have been yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. Been phenomenal. Yeah. And we uh and we're definitely gonna start talking about some other things about what you did that probably are put things in perspective now based on what you're going through. But <laughs> you know, we are praying for yeah, you. Yeah. We appreciate you being yeah, here yeah. on this and, and fighting through it. I got I got to say this though, Nate. I just want to commend you because oftentimes the human condition is to feel sorry for yourself, yeah, and, and want to you know paint yourself as a victim. And I see you doing just the opposite. I'm sure you had some dark nights. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. The, I'm sure you went through some struggles, but to step on the other side and be an example. It's like guys like you guys and you know friends and family, and then uh, you know talking to people that's had this situation before. I think that's helped me out a lot. As somebody that's dealt with it, so they know what it feels like to be on this side and to go through and how to cope with and how to deal with, you know, the emotional side of it. Cause that's the hardest part is the emotional side because for me, I never quit anything in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I can't quit this. And there've been times where I wanted to give up and I'm like, I can't because I don't know how. I don't know how to give up. All I know how yeah. to do is go yeah. harder and harder and figure it out. So now that I'm here at this point and figuring yes. it out and the people that has been going through this and like you said, the prayers and the people that's been praying for me, it's been helping me a lot because then it gives me strength to want to keep going, you know, want to get past this and through this. So then I can explain this to another kid or another person that's going through something like this, man. And I can be the voice for them. And I think that's be pretty cool. Yeah. My, my photo old girl passed away. She's always tell me, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding and oh, all yeah, your ways sure. acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Yes. So Amen. you know what it is. I keep hearing you talk about the Lord and all that. So I know you got faith, bro. Yeah. You know big saying? time faith, man. I mean, how can you not? How take can care you of not? Soldiers. Yeah, I believe that. For sure. You can now win up to a hundred times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. That's right. Four correct picks. You can turn $10 into a thousand. Come on, man, who doesn't want to do that? With NBA, NHL, and college basketball entries today on Prize Picks, 
America's number one fantasy sports app. Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states. That's right, 30 states across this fine country of ours, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Get in on the excitement. Get in on the action with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your latest hoops knowledge into some serious cash, bro. Prize Picks has something for every sports fan, from NBA and NHL to the League of Legends and everything in between. You can pick LeBron James, Caitlin Clark, Connor McDavid, and Jude Bellingham, all in the same entry. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code OGs for your first deposit match of up to $100. Pick more or pick less. It's that easy. We all know life can be crazy sometimes. It is for all of us. But one person's negligence can result in another one's settlement. So when you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions. You can hit up Morgan & Morgan. They'll fight to get you those millions. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers. Life is hard. Hiring Morgan & Morgan? Now that's easy, too easy. Making a three with just one shoe on in the NBA Finals, now that is hard. Hiring a Morgan & Morgan? That's easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free. I said that right, it is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash the OGs or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's forthepeople.com slash the OGs or pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. This is a paid advertisement. So I talked about it early before we started, you know, coming from Seattle, going to UW. Um, two sports. Be a two sport athlete. Like, and we, we just talked about this. I think being a corner, being a, one, being a corner <laughs> in, in football who, who is a corner. Uh -huh. Him, not you. You said you being a corner. Well, I was a corner. There ain't no. I sat on the corner. No, I listen, sat we on had the this conversation. I white, sat on the corner. There's no white <laughs> cornerbacks, but Jason Seahorn. That's it. Well, call me Michael Seahorn. <laughs> I'm Michael Seahorn today. That's funny. You did what all us wish we could do, though. Play two sports. Play football and basketball, because all basketball players think they could play football, and all football players think they could play basketball. You really did that. You stood on business and handled it. When they, before he rudely interrupted me, what I was saying is, <laughs> I'm rude. <laughs> Being a corner to me looks like the loneliest job in America, in the world. It's right. It's, it's and difficult. And to be able to Very do difficult. that and play and to play a high level basketball, yeah, a, a D one level. See, I knew I was right. He did his thing. Now two picks. It was what, thirty some tackles this freshman year. Yeah, like how, how was that? Because it, it sucks because I should have had three picks or four. Three, the third one is yeah, real competitive. <laughs> yeah, competitive. <laughs> now listen, because it was you know back in the day they didn't have they didn't have the replay and throw the flag. You can you know replay. But I got a picking against Arizona State in the yeah. back of the end zone, and I, you know, I tapped it in. I tapped it in, you know, the feet. Uh, got my feet down, and then they said I was out of bounds, and it was suck because they feet showed down. the replay, and I had my feet in, but they already <laughs> made the call, so they couldn't overturn it. So uh, and then a game against Oregon that we beat Oregon at their place, 42-21, dogged them, dog walked them. Mm. Uh, you know all, you know all the stats yeah, there. Go ahead on. Because, you know, the Oregon and UW rivalry, it gets it gets real nasty, bro. They talk a lot of bro. Like, Oregon fans are the worst. They're the best for them, but they're the worst yeah. fans. So we have to really, uh, you know, let them have it. But, dude, I dropped a pick six, bro, and my dad still hasn't let me live it down to this day. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the quarterback got hit through it, it wobbled, and I was already looking at the end zone. I, in my head, I was already doing a Dion. I was already in the end zone doing this already. Prime. <laughs> and I dropped it and I just laid there like, wow, that's my that was that was that was it. That was the one time I was gonna get in the end zone and get a pick six. And I dropped it. I was sick. What made what made you what made you make that decision? Because you obviously yeah. you stopped playing football, and it, I mean, looking back at it, yeah, man, great decision, they didn't it sounds like, they, they it didn't have, like either way. They didn't have transfer portals back in the day, man. When they fired, you know, our, our coach Rick Neuheisel, when they fired him, uh, that was my sign. Yeah. I was like, because I was looking for a sign anyway. I was like, God, I'm gonna have to choose one of these sports to go professional in. Please help me, mm -hmm. you know, with the decision. And when they fired him, I was like, Oh, is it? Thank you, God. Is that it? I was like, oh, yeah, that's it right there. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's time to go hoop now. It's time to go show people that, uh, you know, that I can play this game of basketball because, you know, a lot of people was like, you can't make it to the NBA. And I was like, man, all right, watch. Watch this. 
I just, you know, gave up football. And uh, then I was like, I can hoop all day, every day. I don't got to worry about going to football practice. I was in basketball all the time, in the gym. I mean, I lived in the gym. Like, that's all I did. I was going from school, from tr from tutoring, to eating with the team, straight to the gym. I was living in the gym, bro. I just did that, and I just, every day, getting those shots. Gym yeah. Real gym rat. Real gym rat. Real gym rat. Then hoop everywhere, too. Hoop with the, well, before, I was hooping with the girls. That's what I work on my left hand. I'll go hoop with the girls when my, my cousin played. My cousin Cherie, she played on the girls team at UW. So I, whenever they had open gym, I was there hooping with her and I would use my left and I hoop with the girls. It was like, I'm working on my game every day, every let me, chance let me I get. ask you a question, Nate. What's up? Because you were the smallest, was you a little confrontational? You were looking for that smoke, whoever wanted it. Could yeah, it. I, I wasn't backing down to nobody. Like straight up. I remember one time, uh, you know how <laughs> NBA teams, you know how NBA teams come to your college and come, you know, do shoot around? And uh, I'll never forget yeah. Bar Baron Davis and the, uh, the Charlotte Hornets came, and they came to uh, they came to UW. They came to practice, and you know, so I'm looking for BD. I'm like, man, where's Baron at? I'm looking for Baron. I find him. <laughs> I run up to him. I'm like, bro, what does it take to get to the league, bro? Tell me. I need to know. And I'm talking to him. He was like, yeah, man, blah blah blah. Yeah. I was like, listen, you're gonna see me in a couple years, bro. Remember this face. And he was like, okay, little dude, I got you, bro. <laughs> And then when I got to the league, I made it to the league. I ended up playing them. I was in I was in the garden, and I was like, "Bro, you remember me?" And that's the first thing I asked him. I said, "Remember me? <laughs> yeah, little dude from Washington. Yeah, it's me. Remember Mike from Michigan? Yeah, I'm on your ass today." <laughs> so I told him I was like, Man, "I made it. I made it." And I was like, "I'm in here." And he cooked us too. And he was like, "Welcome to the league, young fella." He fried us. And I was like, yeah, man. I'm oh yeah, yeah, that BD, that was- Yeah, that old, was B, old school BD. BD. Yeah, it was tough. He was tough, right, tough guard BD. to guard. Before we get on to talking about your NBA career and, and, and things that happened in your NBA career, just talk about, because it's a sad, to me it's sad to see what the Pac-12 is doing right now. You participate in both sports over there, but to see it basically, it's basically shut down. Um, so talk about that. I mean, obviously we, we've talked on our podcast a lot about NIL, Transfer Portal, but yeah. we haven't talked about anybody coming from the Pac-12 that basically the whole league shutting down. Yeah, yeah it's tough, just, man. You know, bailing out. So talk yeah, to me about it's, that. It's tough, but I understand it's a business, man. When you, it's like, it's real difficult to understand the business side of things when all you want to do is just hoop and you want to play. As, be, as being in our, our, our inner child. We just want to hoop. We never knew that all this stuff that comes with, you know, being a professional or even going to college, it comes with all these things. You know, we just want to play. Y'all, like, y'all made it difficult doing all this extra stuff, you know? So <laughs> with this whole Pac-12 leaving and not, in, you know, whatever, Pac-10, Pac-12, it sucks because there's so many memories, bro, that it's like getting washed away. And it's like, you have to be, you have to be there to see it and believe that, you know, some of these things happen. I mean, like, me and my dad are in the Pac-12 Hall of Fame, bro. My dad was the first wow. guy to ever win Orange Bowl and Rose Bowl MVP in college. Nobody's ever done it before. Damn. Yeah, Pops was really lit. Damn. And then, like, for me, I'm, Shout you know, I'm Pops. I'm in the Hall of Fame, you know, with the Pac, in the Pac-12 at the University of Washington for everything that I've done, you know, for the University of Washington. And it seems like now those things are just, are just, gonna be, you know, washed away. Nobody's gonna really know about, you know, the people that came before now. But that's the era we live in, man. And I mean, uh, hopefully, you know, somebody uh, can save all those memories somehow. <laughs> man, they, I wish they would've got the championship this year now. Nah. Yeah, it sucks, man. <laughs> I wish they'd've got the championship now nah, if I'd've known that was gonna happen. At the same time, I understand the business and, you know, good luck to, you know, where, wherever they do from here on out. Or what they whatever conference they make it or whatever they want to do, good luck. Well, as 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 OGs, and, and you being one of them, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we like to ask the questions because you get drafted, you go to go in the league. Just talk about some of them trials and tribulations that all young kids that are coming through it, and we, you know, that basically like to shine a light on some of the stuff and and routines and habits of how to stick there, not just to get there, but to stick there. Man, yeah, bro, you gotta fall in love. Ooh, you got drafted to New York. That, that's like right up there with Miami. Like you got drafted to, to a town, to a city. To a real city, man. You gotta fall in love with your game. Uh, that's what I did. I just fell in love with my game, bro. And I just I just asked guys like Jamal Crawford, uh, you know, Marbury, guys that were there before me, you know, what to expect. Ooh. And then see how they're doing their thing. And then, you know, just try to, it's like my dad told me, you gotta, you can't be afraid to be a copycat just as long as you copy the right cat. 
So I had guys like Malik uh, Rose. I had guys like Malik preach. Rose. Yeah, Malik oh. Rose, Jamal Crawford. I had great vets, you know, that really looked out. Um, and uh, they just told me to, just, you know, just, just stay out the way. Just keep the main thing, the main thing. That's what I. That's what they told me when I came in. He said, you look young fella. All you got to do is keep the main thing, the main thing, and everything will be straight. And I did that. I kept my nose out of, out of trouble. I just tried to, you know, enjoy my life but just work extremely hard because for me, it was a little different from you guys. You guys are six, eight, six, nine, you know, not taking nothing from yeah. the height, but for me, five, nine, they wasn't taking me serious. They was looking past me every time, every chance they got, they want to bring somebody else in. Oh yeah, he's five, nine. He's not, he's not the point guard. He's not the player that we want. Not knowing that, man, I can do anything and everything that these guys are doing, if not better. And I'm coming to work on time. Yeah. I'm leaving the, I'm the first one in here, the last one to leave. Like, show me the same respect. Don't change it because I'm short. You know what I'm saying? That kind of that kind of really rubbed me the wrong way after a while. So that's why, that, like, when you guys see me play, that's why I went so hard. Because how they treated me yeah, so it. bad because I was so small. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, low key, these people are coming to see me in these seats. I don't know what y'all think this is. They got number four jerseys <laughs> all around this month. Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Like for real, like even after the league, my jersey is one of the most selling jerseys. They still sell my jersey in the in the garden right now to this day, and that's how you know you've done you know something. What, you, right? know what, you know what? You know what? Like, yeah, no, I'm I'm telling you, like, hey, you're spot on. I mean, yeah. I, obviously, you know, I don't know what the, what what pick were you? Twenty twenty one. Twenty one. I can't remember. I don't have the numbers in front of me. I'm not a, I'm not an analytical nerd, but I can't imagine the last first rounder that's under six feet. So you're 100 right. And and the reality is is like, for me. Why, like we are six eight six nine like and, and and understanding that like you can like the reason I think you're an inspiration and and, and listening to you talk right now I wish we'd have had this conversation when you were hooping yeah <laughs> it's, bro it's, it's I swear I about, wish but it's like, I wish <laughs> but you like one of those guys like that reason people fall in love with us because now you, listen obviously you're at you're elite athlete but to make it at that height you gotta have a lot more than just athleticism so bro, you listen, have real hoop you game you gotta have heart you gotta have real hoop game and you gotta believe in yourself and know that what you bring to the team and what you bring to the organization is worthy. And they didn't really look at me like that. Only a couple of people like Isaiah Thomas who drafted me, he believed in me. And I respected him so much for, you know, giving me the opportunity. He drafted me. And I was like, man, I'm going to do everything I can to show you, you know, what you're getting. You're getting something great out of me. That's why I went so hard. And then I know that I can speak for guys like Will Bynum who's probably dealing with the same thing I was dealing with, but on the other side, you know, on the other side of the country, de dealing with the same thing I'm dealing with. And then when guys like Isaiah yeah. Thomas come in, he's dealing with it, he got to go through it all over again too. And he really <laughs> to average 29 in the season and, yeah. you know, doing what he did. Like, they really don't rock with the little guys, which is crazy. Like, bro, we can do anything they can do, bro. I don't understand. Like, come on, bro. I don't even want to bring other people... <laughs> let me let me just chill, bro. Before I start. <laughs> nah, hey, listen. Nah, hey, no, go ahead, dog. Preach, cause yeah, I ain't preach. gonna. I ain't gonna lie. I got. got I got, got list no a time. mile. Yeah, I got a list a mile long, and I keep a. I keep a. I okay, keep a so chip hear on me my out. Shoulder. Hear like, me out, bro. I did. Out of so many opportunities to play, I remember, I would have played every game, if it didn't if it didn't come to coach's decision. I got tired of seeing did not play coach's decision. I didn't even know what that was until I got to the league, and I'm like, bro. I mean, I always played in the games when I was in high school, college. I played. I never, I never sat the bench, so that was a new thing for me. I had to deal with that and cope with that and learn. Like, you know what? When my time comes, I want to show them. That's why I stay ready. That's why I was like, you know what? When my time comes, yeah. I'm going for like when I get a chance. I'm going for forty. I'm going for forty against whoever I'm playing against. Whoever that guy on the other side, I'm gonna cook him. And then you got to put the starter in. Then I'm gonna cook you. And then it's like I'm gonna go just down the line. And that's how I felt over the years, you know what I'm saying? So guys like, when I see guys like Ben Ben Simmons, like you don't you don't wanna play? Like not saying that you, yeah. like you could be hurt, okay, cool, but bro, not to, 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 to get paid $40 million and not play no games last year or whatever it was, bro, that's, bro, that's my whole 40 million? I would be happy, what? Coach, what you want me to do for $40 million? For a career, not in one year, for a career, coach. Who you want me to guard? I'll guard career. Shaq. Who? You want me to go in there and foul who? <laughs> coach, I can stop this Draymond. You want me to go stop this right now, coach, in the game? I can stop that right now, bro. 
Like, bro, they, for they, real, they, what we talking about? Forty million dollars. I ain't gonna lie to you. The, the the way the way you talk the way you talking right now. If I wasn't so fat and old, I'd go down to Lifetime Fitness and cook somebody. The way you talking to me right now. The chip done made you a monster. Let's dog. go hoop, dog. Let's go hoop. <laughs> the chip makes you a monster. Hey, let's start our OGs. Let's go hoop against all these LA fitness dudes. Let's go cook them. I'll Man. come with y'all. Uh, yeah, we know let's... we got buckets and we got rebounds. <laughs> we good. Exactly. We got shooters. Yeah, hey, just drive and kick. <laughs> you just get to your spot. We got buckets, we got rebounds. You get to your spot, dog. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, so you're so you're in New York. You're in New York. Um, I think it's year, was it year two you get in the dunk contest? My my first year. My first year. year I got two? in it. Yeah, my first year. First year. My rookie so year. You, so you win the you win the dunk contest your rookie year? Ooh. Yeah, man. See, listen, I got a lot of talk about that too, man. And shout out to Matt McClung, cause he's representing getting the opportunity of a lifetime. He doesn't even understand it's an opportunity of a lifetime because when I was in the league, they wasn't letting guys do what he's doing. There was no way in hell that they were gonna let a guy that wasn't in the league come and do the dunk contest. That, no that's way. crazy no because way. my year when I they were telling me I wasn't gonna be able to be in the dunk contest if I didn't get a dunk in the game. They was like, we don't know if you can dunk. I'm like, what do you mean? Because there's no social media. We didn't have none of that yet. It was off of you know what you did in college. Oh, that's I was college highlights. Like we haven't seen you dunk in the league. So, you know, I'd be in the game like, coach, I need to get a dunk. <laughs> I need to be in the dunk contest <laughs> during the week. I'm like, can you put me in the game so I can get a dunk? I just need one dunk. And then I got it. I got my first dunk against Miami. Channing Fry gave me a little bounce pass, and I I dunked on uh Pose at Posey. I think Pose tried to come and block my shot, and hey, I just <laughs> little dunk on. Hey Nate, so you just remember everything from high school to college to the pro? I got photographic that, memory, bro. Especially <laughs> when it comes to my highlights. You I see. I, I cl clearly, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, I remember everything. You have to, bro, because so like you, you so said, you some people, some people are just gonna forget about me one day. I won't forget about myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody gonna forget <laughs> no, about Nate Robinson one day. I'ma always, I'm gonna always know what I did, and I'ma respect myself for that. What'd you always say? You gotta be in tune with your star player, Nate Rob. <laughs> always. Yeah, hey, bro. You gotta I'm be in tune you, with your star player, listen, dog. T uh, all times. T O said it best back in the day when he said, "I love me some me. I do." You look at this <laughs> camera. Up. I love me. <laughs> I love me, bro. For real, <laughs> straight up. Y'all might hate me, but I love me. <laughs> straight up. As you should. Hey. As yeah. you should. Hey, so 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 you end up winning it, like I said, three times. Yes. Just as hard as hard as that is to do. I mean, we can't listen. The, the normal fans never going to be able. We're never going to be able to put into words how hard that yeah, is. Yeah, that's to do. that's crazy. All right, but as a person who mastered the finger roll and the floater like myself, talk about talk about where the dunk contest is right now. Because what, what can they do now? How many three time winners are there? None. There, I'm the only, only one. one. Right? Yeah, I'm the only it's one on now. You. But what they're trying to You're do, the they're, they're trying to make McClung be the next one for sure. They're gonna have to. That's what they're gonna try to do, unless Dang. Zion or, or, who else? Um, what's 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 Buddy's name? Uh, John Morant. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody hey, like man. that comes in, and does the dunk contest and changes the game because these guys are actually, they're like the McClung that can. I really got balance. I really can do these dunks. You know, it's only a certain amount of guys that can in NBA that can do it. You seen the guys that got in the dunk contest? Yeah, you can dunk, but you can't dunk contest dunk. There's only a certain amount of guys that can yeah, do that type yeah. deal. You know what I'm saying? So now where the dunk contest is going, I mean, now what they they, they might as well just go out and get all the YouTubers, all the influencers that are doing it, and let them represent the NBA teams. That that's the only way it's gonna get popping. You heard it here first. We got to go out and get the rest of the guys that are doing triple backflips, double between the legs, dunks in, on YouTube. Bring them in. Give them a jersey. Say you're representing your honorary Warriors, Knicks, Bulls, whoever, and you put them and let them dunk against each other, and that's how you gonna have a dunk contest. Yeah. And it'll be the team. You better honorary your ass somewhere else besides Miami. Hey, listen, man, that's how it's gotta be. Honorary yourself somewhere else besides Miami. Don't bring <laughs> that, your ass here with that. That's how it's gotta be, bro. That's the only way to dunk. I'm contest vice president of player development. We do not develop YouTubers. Get your ass from around here. <laughs> that's the only way that's the dunk contest is gonna be popping. Not on my watch, damn it. Be a cold day in hell. <laughs> you don't develop YouTubers. ice cold day in hell. <laughs> Winner a brewski. Win a brewski. And the devil making a martini. Before a YouTuber would come down here and put on a heat jersey. Me. He said he said he worked too hard to put on a heat jersey. I'd be he ain't damn, it's too much blood, sweat, and tears for these motherfuckers. I, I feel. I mean, he asked here. me what 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 is it gonna take for him to get better on the dunk contest. This is the only way, bro. It's the only way.
<laughs> hey, or Hello, cancel the cancel the dunk contest real quick. Cancel the dunk contest and have the one on one, the one on one phase. That's what we want to see. One on one, the one on one phase will be lit. I love to see that. I don't think nobody gonna beat KD though. I don't think nobody gonna beat KD. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, they, 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 I don't know. That's yeah, that's a tough. One. Who does? Who, hey, listen, while we're in it, who wins the one on one All Star game? The one on one oh, game. KD. I might too. KD, KD's definitely gonna be in the finals for sure. Paul George might get mm -hmm. up in there. He got one on one. He can score one on one fades. Paul George would be nice. Ant Man, Ant -Man. Ant -Man will be in there. You might have to throw Kawhi in there too, though. Yeah, because he got lockdown. He got and he can score. It depends on how many dribbles. Are we doing unlimited or three or is there a second shot clock? Like three, three dribbles, Nate. Three dribbles. I, I mean, Real old school like that. I'm three dribbles, but you might have to do a shot clock because some guys need more spot. than three dribbles. Nah, they can't play. <laughs> see, back in the day, I would have loved for a guy like Jamal Crawford to be an all-star just to see him go ones with oh, people because that would be unbelievable. Over. Over. Ooh. Jamal Crawford would want it. Somebody would have got hurt out there. He would have hurt, some, hurt somebody. Even with three dribbles, he's he tough because I like I like – you know, he he coaches his son's team and they practice at our high school that we grew up playing at, Renner Beach. Shout out to Renner Beach High School. And Maul be, you know, Maul still plays. He plays one-on-one. -on -one. You know, we get in the drills and we play one-on-ones and we do ones with the kids. And he's still frying kids at 44 years old <laughs> frying the high school kids. I'm telling I'm telling you, oh. I'm telling you, Nate, I'm I'm not I'm not good with numbers, but there's a pretty good chance that I Mike Miller. Foul Jamal Crawford more than any other person in NBA history. Because every, <laughs> every time I was on that island, boop, you're going to take that shit out on the side. Brother. That's funny. You that's ain't for the so dance funny. on me. Oh, man. He had all that. He had all that. I remember he dropped 50 on us in the guard. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was there. I was there. Talk about the NBA. Talk about the NBA. Uh, Nate, talk about the NBA today. What do you What do you see coming out of the East and coming out of the West? What do you, what do you like? Oh, man. It's difficult, man. Because you want to say Boston out the East, but they never can get it done. I just I have no faith in them. Why can't? Why can't they get it done? Because they just it, they no, don't, just don't we'll, have. We'll about don't they just about don't it. have the it factor. They don't have it. I'm Whatever it is, they don't have it. And I don't. And I don't know what exactly they're missing. It's some. It's it. But I don't know what it is. But you see what Joker and them guys are you doing. Know what it is? You nah, I don't know what it is. He might know. They don't got no. They don't got no. Don't got no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't had to say it. I ain't had to say. It. I ain't said nothing. They ain't, I ain't no, said nothing. Her, her, her. They ain't got none of that. They ain't got none of that. It take a, it take a dog to say it. I ain't had to say. It. You see what hey, the man said? Hey, I ain't had to say hey, nothing. You, sp you speaking his language right now, go. Damn right, he speak my language. Coach, you speaking his language hey, right hey, now. Hey, Nate, just for the record, I had to go through a little bit what you went through. They got rid of one of their dogs. I had to go through what you went through. Yeah, I'm six eight, but most of the people I was playing against was like six ten, six eleven. They was looking at me like I wasn't supposed to be there either. So I was just like you. I was looking for all the smoke my first 10 years they called me abm angry black man like i was on some shit. like i ain't smile right that mother i like didn't hear listen season. ud i didn't hear stories about you my brother so i i and i and i know <laughs> so you ain't even got to tell me i already know what is what's, what's good hey, trust hey, me hey nate well, i'm nate, reformed hey, and evolved hey, hey, hey nate they called him abm the first 10 years they're still calling him abm don't let it get that shit twisted oh man come on man stop it man <laughs> so hey so so who do you have coming out the east and if it's not boston without their oh man what is it and i i, I don't know man if the east is up for grabs right now for me but if oh if what's the name could stay healthy in 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 philly and beat i love Embiid's game mm -hmm. he can probably take them far but yeah it's tough man uh yeah. I don't know what Doc is gonna do now that Doc is there in uh, in the Bucks. It seems like he mess up every place he go. <laughs> this is his last chance. I, tell I you mean, that. you know, you know, it's last shot. Doc. I still got, I still got a little beef with Doc. I don't even want to tell y'all the story because it's gonna make y'all not like that man anymore. No, 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 no. We 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 have plenty of time to listen. You know, I can't. It's, it sucks because things that happen and you look upon, you know that it's set up a certain way. And you know you can't do nothing about it. Mm. And you can't even, yes. it's like you can't even go tell somebody else, like somebody that's even above that man. Like you can't even go tell like, yo, this guy's doing this and he's keeping me from getting a certain blah, blah, blah. You see what the NFL guys are doing, right? When it's incentives are yeah. uh, on the table. So this long story short, I had it in my contract where I made like $2 million. It's like 1.5 or something like that. If I played a certain amount of games. Ooh. Doc River gives me a DMP. The game where I needed one more game to get $1.5 million. 
And all I had to do was go in the game. And I and before the game, I told KG, I told, you know, I told the team. And they were like, man, what you gonna do? Cause, you know, the real in me wanted to just go sub in and just say, it just sub. But, you know, they was telling me, Nate, you know, like you wanna play in this league a long time. You gotta be professional. You gotta, you know, they're telling you all this other shit. You know, they didn't want you don't wanna go to the D League and all this other shit. They trying to hold over your head to keep you in line. So I was like, you know, I'll play your game. Cool, all right, whatever. So after the game goes, I called my agent. I told him, I was like, bro, I think he did that on purpose, bro. And he was like, well, we don't have no proof that he did. And I was like, bro, I come from the Knicks. I was just playing and then I don't play. That's a, that's a clear sign. Why would he give me a DMP for? I'm not hurt. I'm ready to go. Like, what was what was the reason? And I never even asked him, but I know he did that on purpose. I know it. And you and you know he knew, and you know he knew yeah, that he, he knew. Playing yes. that. Man, they be knowing. They like know that. all that. They know. Man, they be gotta, knowing. They be knowing. The yes, they know. They be bro. Knowing. Yeah, they, they know, bro. Knowing. I just didn't have nobody on my team like a Tom Brady, like he did for Grunt. Throw him the ball, just give him the ball anyway. Like, yo, sub, Rondo. Somebody would have been like, yo, Nate. Act like they hurt or something just to get you know, just throw just you know you know I, I didn't I didn't look, I didn't get no big contract like the rest of these guys, bro. I need to count every 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 penny. You feel me? That would have been something. That would have been something like a guy like Braun or D Wade would have did. They would have definitely sure. they would have definitely subbed themselves out. Let you, you get feel your, me? You know get so you know it's it's it's, sure. it's it's cool. It's cool. I'm not blaming like none of my teammates because I get it too with them. I mean I love I love the team that I was on. Uh, KG. Paul, Ray, all them, they showed me love. And then they were just like, yo, that's kind of fucked up that. And it was like, he knows too. So if I, if they, right, if they felt like they, knew. They, knew. they knew, he knew. Cause the whole team, the organization Speaking of knew. KG, Paul, yeah. Speaking of KG, Paul Pierce, you know, Ray Allen, like who was the best player that you ever played with or alongside? Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh my God. I didn't. I didn't hoop with Curry. I didn't hoop with. <laughs> I didn't hoop with some. I was just gonna say. I didn't hoop with some. Yeah, some you killers. Dumb, you had a young Joker. I didn't have, yeah. I, oh man, I didn't have some guys, bro. Um, yeah. Oh man, that's a tough one. But uh, that that Boston that Boston squad was special. They had some great great individuals. Mm -hmm. Um, that was very. It was eye opening being in that room with them guys, bro, because they really understood the game, bro. You know, that's when I really learned the game of basketball. Going there, like learning uh, plays and tendencies and guys and what they do, because they studied, bro. They studied the game. They knew every every play from the other team, and they was really locked in, dialed in. After they won the championship, the next year they went back to the finals, and I understood why. That was a that was a good team. So I probably have I mean, to say, when you run, I, I I just. I can remember like yesterday when you run into play and you playing and KG's obviously he's on the other side and you run into play offensively. He's call, he's calling Call up, up man, every the cuts, move, every move, every him, recovery, Rondo, all of them. Where this person's supposed to go, where this person's supposed to be. And it's almost to the point where it's like, all right, you gotta still stop it. But it's a little bit discouraging when, yeah, when they know your plays. Calling out your actions or your play. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's tough. It's, it's tough. All of them too. And, the, and the crazy thing about it is like, they didn't, like when I went to the Celtics, we didn't practice that much. Like we got shots up and stuff, but mm -hmm. they did more film. They really broke it down, you know, for you. So, you know, we had older guys. So they was like, we need we need you guys' energy and what y'all yeah. give us in the game, not practice. You know what I'm saying? So there's there was times when like we'll come in, we'll 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 do a little walkthrough. And then Paul Pierce, like, yeah, ones, straight to the phase. Paul Pierce wanna go straight to the yeah. phase, straight one on ones. And whoever wanna play can play. Man, I used to burn them guys up, bro, at five nine, bro. It used to be so much fun playing them. Man, I love to hear that. Oh my God! Ask you, you hey, listen, you have a that. conversation. Ask Paul. No, you who you need to talk to. Talk to Scalabrini. He'll that he'll let you know everything. <laughs> what was going down when I was there, and ask him how many times I was fading guys on ones. <laughs> hey, it's 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 the same mentality that we had in Miami because as soon as we get through after a practice, we going to ones too. Iron ones sharpening the iron. best. So bro, that's that y'all had those listen. same. That's that's how you do it. Iron sharpens iron. I love the ones after practice, bro. I was like, I, I can't wait for that. I was like, practice is cool. When, when we get into these ones, Jalen Rose when I was on the Knicks, <laughs> it was me, Jalen Rose, Steve Francis, Marbury, bro. My ones, I didn't have some ones with some ooh, ooh. with some ones, bro, with some killers. Ooh. 
and it was fun, bro, Ooh. playing all. Yeah. The only one, the only person I never beat, bro, was Jimmy Butler, bro. That's the only person I was just the hardest. Man. He was the hardest to get by and try to and try to score on, bro. He just he was just athletic. I'm, I'm, long pause, yes. like he was I just. Play he was, with Jimmy. Yeah, he was a he was a problem. I ain't gonna lie, he was a problem. He was a problem for me. He got all that. He got all that. All the footwork and to get you to switch it, drop your pivot, to attack this leg, and oh, he got it all that. It was fun to be on the Bulls with him because, like, when I was on the Bulls that year, bro. I would go to the little gym right down the street from my apartment. I would just go to the gym after practice was over. I'll stay, get some shots up, and then I'm bored. I'm about to go to this little gym right down the street from my house. I walk. I'll be in the gym. Jimmy, you call me. What you doing, bro? Hey, I'm at the gym. You at the facility? Nah. I said I'm at the gym by my crib. I was like, pull up. And Jimmy, pull up. We'll be shooting. Next thing you know, we playing one on one for hours. <laughs> just yeah. hooping. Yeah. That's JB. Just getting better. And I'm like, bro. Yeah. And I'm 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 hoping, but I'm like, bro, why don't you shoot like this in the game? Why you only only play defense? I'm like, you you bet like you offensively gifted too. You need to show them. Like when yeah, I was there, I was yeah. like, man, nah, I'm gonna bring it out. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make you hoop. So that year when I was there with him, I was like, I, I yeah. brought the offense out of Jimmy because I'm like, bro, you deserve to reward yourself after guarding D Wade, LeBron. You guarding all these greats. Show them that you can hoop too on offense, bro. I had to make them be more offensively yeah, gifted. Like, bro, shit. open that little gift up, bro. Free yourself. Speaking of, speaking of Jimmy Butler, what can what can the Miami Heat do coming down the stretch? Man, they always got a chance, man. Always. I mean, they know uh, they got the blueprint. You did them guys been setting up the blueprint for them guys for years. All you got to do is follow it. And then you play with that dog and that energy, and you straight. You good. The Miami Heat's always have a chance to win no matter what. Cause they play with that. They, like when you go to Miami, like you said, I hear stories. You got to be in shape. They catch your they check they 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 checking your body fat, what you ate the next day the day before. Like they on that. I was like, man, I was supposed to play. That supposed to be a place I was supposed to play. I'm I'm zero body fat. I was literally just about to say that. I was like, I'm surprised you ain't end up down here at so some listen, point. Listen, man, when I came and tried out, when I ch- came and did my workout, they lo- they love me. I ain't gonna lie. The the, the owner, uh, he was like, man, we would love to pick you. But you might not be there when we, you know, when it's our pick. And I was 21, and I think they drafted who they draft Wayne Simeon. I think my year, I think it was Wayne Simeon that year. They got right yeah. after me, so he they yeah. drafted and him right. At, it was like yeah. two picks after us. So I could have been in Miami, but in the Knicks yeah. they, they 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 grabbed me early, bro. Yeah, man, that would have yeah. been a nice nice Wayne long career in Miami. It'd have been lit. And they robbed him and pulled up. You was yeah. No, no. You would you would have fit here perfect. You are perfect. You would fit here perfect. You would you would have definitely fit if, in. If my guy Marlon Chalmers can fit there, what do you think I would have been doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, bro. Right there, Rio boy. Oh uh, man, hey, Rio, listen. my guy. Shout out Rio. He go hard. He go hard. But uh, yeah, he do go hard. <laughs> they know. It's a, it's a perfect time to go to fan questions. Yeah, fan go fan questions. questions. <laughs> go ahead. We always do these fan questions, man. Hey, and I always talk about this, and I like when they have these questions on because as you get older, like us, man, like life is moments in the league, and obviously you remember a lot of your moments, which is great because so, we talk about it all the time. Well, one of the questions we have was, and I think it was an awesome moment, what was it like when you blocked Yao Ming? Oh, man, that was, that was wow, so listen, that. man. I that, remember that. Yeah, that was, it was crazy because in my head, I'm like, all right, the ball's on the weak side. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the weak side help, and I'm like, all right, he either's going to dunk on me or I'm gonna block it. It's either it's either one of those two things is gonna happen because I'm gonna be over there in my in my help position because I'm not gonna I'm not getting yelled at by coach by not being in help position. So I was there. I was my rotation, and when he got the ball, I jumped early before he even turned. I was already in the air. So right when he turned to jump, he really didn't have to jump. He just turned and jumped a little bit, and I just you know I just blocked it. When I blocked it. I blocked it kind of hard, and then I kind of poked him in the eye afterwards. So after he, I blocked him, he kind of went down and was like holding his eye because I poked him in the eye. And I heard him do some kind of grunt, and I just ran back on offense. <laughs> I tried to run back <laughs> and get away from him because I was like, I'm about to have Yao Ming trying to kick my ass for poking him in the eye. So it was kind of weird because I felt like, I don't know, I didn't want to I didn't want to hurt him. But, you know, like I poked him in the eye. I didn't want to you know, mess him up because so many people – you know, Directna and all that other stuff. I was like, I just hope I just didn't, you know, hurt him in his career type. I just didn't want to hurt him. You know, I want to be the reason why Yao Ming didn't play basketball no more. I was more scared than anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got that. Yeah, well, here's another question. 
Who is your favorite player in the NBA to watch now? Oh, to watch now? I love Ant Man, bro. I love Anthony. Anthony Edwards is my favorite player to watch, bro. He has everything. He had everything you want in a player, bro. And it's funny because they 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 not saying they're comparing him to Michael Jordan, but they're showing glimpse. And he's like, you ain't wrong. Like, you ain't wrong to say that I'm nice like that. And I love yeah. that confidence, bro. Yeah. I love his confidence, his swag, just what he brings to the, you know, to the game, bro. I'm 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 rocking with it, bro. And then on top of that, player after that is Kyrie Irving. I just love watching. I can watch Kyrie hoop all day. Cause he's gonna do something so filthy the way he moves, the way just even him bringing the ball down the court. That to me, that's just I'll be just in awe of watching those two players play, bro. It's, it's fun to watch. And then for a big man, I love watching Joker, bro. Joker does everything: rebound, pass, swag. Just nobody can stop this dude, bro. And he don't even he can't even jump over a sheet of paper. <laughs> and he be cooking. Yeah, and real, this and he's real. fun to watch, bro. He's fun to cooking. watch. Brian, yeah. Brian. We talked about the we talked about the East, <clears throat> and but you named two players that you like to watch, and both of those guys was in the West. So who you think might be coming out the West? Man, the West, and I don't see nobody rocking with Joker and them unless uh, the Clippers can get it going, like for real, for real, get it going with them three, with the three headed monsters yeah. they got over there, because them three right there, if they get it going, I don't see nobody stopping them, nobody, and they're and they're tough, like Paul, sure. you got. You got Harden when he's playing with the way he want to play, like you know, them might stopping them guys. And Kawhi, come on, bro, he's healthy and he's playing, man. That's tough. That's tough any night. So you think, you think Minnesota and, and OKC, they they not for real yet? They ain't there yet. They ain't OKC, ready? I love because you know uh, SGA, he's killing. He's doing a great job, bro. And yeah. they're they're, I like OKC yes, he because is. yes, he is. I like OKC because they're they're the first. NBA team that's playing like a college team. There's no big time superstars. All these guys can hoop. All these guys are dope. And they're playing like a college team in the NBA, bro. And it they're fun to watch. I think they're yeah. one one more little missing piece. And I think they can they can they can they can make some noise. They can make some noise. Anthony Edwards and them guys, they're it's missing all, one more piece. Yeah, it's always interesting to see teams like that because at some point they take that step. And when you get that playoffs, you know, once you get that playoffs, the game's completely different. Yeah, but once and you so get it, little, once you get to that like, finals, let those teams go through it. Yeah, once you get to the finals and once you get to where you feel like we can get here almost every year, you see, you will see when uh, when when Denver do it again this year, they're gonna be the team to beat because they they know how to get there, they know how to win, they know what it's like, and P teams don't want to play at them. It's different when you get like, oh yeah, we want to, yeah, we want to get there. You see what LeBron was doing; he was going to the finals almost every year. Like that's hard yeah. to do. Uh, Win the four straight finals. I know how hard that. <laughs> boy. Uh, uh, well, that's easy. difficult, bro. Those, those four games in the finals, the winning those four games in the finals, the hardest thing you'll oh, ever do. That's game. crazy. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy. Like, crazy, crazy work. In life. Crazy work. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. life. So let me one more thing with those guys that we are that we talking about now. Do these guys get in the MVP conversation? We already know Joker's in there. We, we know yeah, Joker's, Joker's in there that's, for that's sure. A, a, SGA, a for sure. if SGA, SGA get in there, he's in there, bro. If he don't, if he, he he's not in, I don't know Thank who's you. making these votes. Like, what are y'all looking at? Thank like, you. What is it that you guys are like? All right, this player makes it makes him the MVP. What is it? Because he's taking a young team, doing what he's doing in the West, and the West is the hardest, one of the hardest, you know, conferences to do all this. What you're doing, it and is. he's averaging thirty. Nine and whatever he's doing, you know what I'm saying? He's Luka Donick, just one of those guys that's up there. Uh, I mean, the MVP race is going to be lit. It's going to be lit this year. But, yeah, yeah, those guys, Luka, SGA, Joker, uh, Anthony Edwards. Tatum? Yep, Tatum can be up in there, too. He be killing. Yeah, Tatum got to be He be balling. Tatum got to be in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, it's a nice little race. I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to hold you. It's a nice little race. It's gonna be interesting this year, for sure, for sure. As, as well as the Joker's doing, and it sucks because he set the standard so high. Yeah. It's almost like, <laughs> it's like, okay, he's just doing what he do. Like, he's hoping, crazy. bro. It's, it's, it's crazy that he set the bar so high for himself. Man, bro, it's crazy that a, a, a little out of shape, chubby looking wrestler, he's like a wrestler, bro. He's a wrestler's out here cooking us like this, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's out here he's looking like Andre ass, the Giant <laughs> out ass. here cooking, said, frying. Hold on, hold on. You say he looks like an out-of-shape wrestler. <laughs> out-of-shape wrestler, and he is cooking. 
bro. <laughs> Straight up. With no grief. Shout out to Joker, bro. Shout out to Joker, bro. <laughs> Joker is too cold, dog. The out of shape, Bam Bam Bigelow. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, you remember the wrestlers back in the day? All of them weren't buff like oh, Hulk yeah. Hogan. Some of them guys looked like they were truck drivers. <laughs> Hey, hey, you need to bring out Joker to say that Bam Bam Big Joker. <laughs> I, told, hey, I, I told people the other day, man, that shit with the Joker and Patrick Mahomes, do not try that shit at home. That is not for everybody. <laughs> they are unicorns. Yeah, fast. You need to get in shape. Get in shape. Okay, listen, for real. That is not for everybody. They are special. They are great at what they do. <laughs> this is not for the common Joe to sit at home and think he's going to get your big ass up and just go out here and start hooping. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it don't work like that. Hey, listen, our next segment, we got it brought to you by Prize Picks. Okay, Prize Picks. I tell picks. you, D, all the time, they're handing out free money on Prize Picks. That's right. Free money. We free like money free money. Free money on Prize Picks, man, more or less. But this on this Prize Picks one, we want to do top five dunkers all time. Top five. Give us of your all top time. five dunkers all time. Oh, all man, time. all time. Obviously, a, you're in it, so we got four. I wasn't even going to pick myself, but okay. Shout out to Nate Rob. Um, no, you no, three time champion. Three -time Ain't nobody champion. else. Did no, that. but you know, but uh, bro, listen, me being a three time yeah. slam dunk champion, Damn, nobody man. has, this, this is nobody, show. has me, nobody has me in their top five ever. Every every time somebody picks, I'm never in their top five, bro. Out of all the dunks I've really? done, well, it's well, crazy. The OG's got you. The yeah. OG's got you in it, coach. But okay, I'm, I'll be, I'll, I'll put myself five. I'll put myself five. So four. Okay. Humbly. Um, Dang, I'm about to go. Jason Richardson. Zach Ooh, Levine. Got about Jay Rich. Wow. Yeah, man. I was he was in my top five. Jason Richardson, Zach Levine. Oh man. So many people are gonna be mad. Michael Jordan. Thank you. I wanna say Dominique. And Vince? Sean Kemp in that Ooh. spot right there. What about Vince? Ooh. Sean Kemp? Vince, Vince? Is, Vince is number one for me. He's he's number one. That's why I'm waiting for him, yep. but he's one. Right. But two, right. oh, man, I'm going to have to go. And this is going to shake a lot of feathers, man, but I'm, I have to do it. It's Desmond Mason. Guys, forgot about Desmond Mason. I'm wow. sorry. I had to bring him back up because he played for Seattle in the dunk contest. But you wow. said one of the best dunkers. He's one of the best dunkers I've seen. Wow. I like Nobody it. Nobody would have never saw no, that. Rain I man like that. The Rain Man a tough one. I, that's, I like that's a good yeah, one. He's the in there because you got, then, then you got like honorable mention guys like Blake Griffin, of course. I mean, you can't leave out Aaron Aaron yeah. Gordon, uh, the the um, Gerald Greens. The, there's so many guys, bro. I can keep going down the list. There's, there's so no, many no. guys. Great yeah. guys, too. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to no, leave out well, nobody. It's barbershop talk. Hey, 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 Nate, we talk about it all the time. Whenever we put this list up of your five, like someone's going to be pissed off. Yeah, that's why I said somebody's going to be mad, yeah. but this, this is my five, so, yeah. I mean, it's cool. That's right. What, 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 what do we say? Man, this is our five. Do not be DMing us. Oh, yeah. Talking that <laughs> and mad because we didn't pick your favorite player on our list. <laughs> yeah, that's Make crazy. Your own damn list. Yeah, for sure. And then, But that's why you guys crazy, asked dog, me my this. list. So when we ask the fans, That's exactly right. Well, look, when we make a post, we ask the fans. Then y'all put y'all in the I'm, box when we give you guys what to do. I'm sure I'm gonna get a text. Why wasn't Larry Bird on your top five dunkers? I'm gonna get your ass <laughs> off my page. He said, "Why wasn't Larry Bird? Larry Bird <laughs> <laughs> top five dunkers? They be true." Bro, <laughs> I, I, I can't believe a second any of your top five dunkers. Get your ass hey, off my hey, page. Hey, How about that? Can hey, I ask hey, you guys hey, a question hey, right I got quick? A problem with keeping of course What's you up? can. Of course you can. How in the hell did Draymond Green pass Larry Bird for a three point, passing him as a three point <laughs> in the three point list, whatever well, it was? I'm gonna tell you how. Makes. I'm, I'm gonna tell you how. He played you that how. much longer than Larry the Bird. Game, like yeah, well no, it's, the game the games changed when Larry played when when Larry played, who's one of my favorite players of all time, I think one of the best players of all time, obviously. Like they didn't value the three point line like they do now. I get it, like, but do you like, mean Draymond me, Green shot that many threes? Allen, yeah, Damn. that was just one of those things where I looked at that stat and I was just like, I was, I was like, okay, cool, whatever. And I just kept it moving because <laughs> like, like, at the end of the day, I, mean, like, I just saw it the other day, so it kind of it just baffled me. No, no, it's a wild, it's a, it's one yeah. of those wild stats. Yeah, when you read yeah. it at first, you're like, what the hell? That was clickbait. That's yeah. somebody put that shit on there for clickbait. <laughs> yeah, they gotta stop doing that. They gotta stop doing that. Stop, stop clickbaiting us, man. It worked with me. I was mad. Yeah, that don't take nothing away from what Larry Bird has done. That worked. And that worked on you. Yeah, it kind of worked on me because I was like, bro, hold on, really? I'm gonna have to go back. Like, man, how many threes did Draymond really shoot and make 
in the league. How, how long he been in the I league? I would have never known that if they didn't put that on there. That's crazy. But that don't take nothing away from Larry Bird. And no, it don't. Again, it we, don't. We do know that Draymond is one of the best winners to ever play the game. So facts. Sure he knows he how to get. He knows how to get the job done. Just tell him to stop kicking yeah. people. Yeah. He got a job in jujitsu when he done. He can go do jujitsu and karate. He been doing. He been doing well though. He been doing well. I gotta give him credit. What credit's due? Since he been back, he been he been holding it together. And they went on a little run. Oh, okay. Give him credit. Shout out Draymond, man. Keep your yeah, feet on the, the ground. Zen moment worked. The little Zen moment worked out for him. The little Zen moment worked out for him. <laughs> nice. Well, before we get out of here, man, we always we always leave here, Nate, with OG advice. UD gets to give his OG advice for the day. So I want you to hear his OG advice after hearing some of the stuff you said. I'm guessing it's going to play off of what okay, you're talking about. Okay, let me hear what you got, OG. If people don't like you for being yourself, with what? If people don't like you for he being like yourself, f them up against the wall with super glue on their lips. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you supposed to find? If they don't like you for you being yourself, f them up against the wall with super glue on their lips. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny that is real funny but nate man listen bro we really appreciate you big dog man, hey, listen, thank man, you, i appreciate y'all man thank praying you praying for you is awesome yes y'all pray for please, me to get that kidney please man. bring at some point bring back the show with the crib I'm, one of my I'll, favorite I'll, shows I'll bring it back bro house guests bro shout out to house day. guests yeah it's coming back Yes, bring back house guests, bro. Yes, sir. Bring back house guests, man. And it was it was like cool, said, especially man, now with the young guys. They getting paid three hundred million. We got to see what these houses looking like. You <laughs> around be on somebody's spaceship in a, in a minute. Hey, that's, that's gonna, gonna, gonna be lit. Around be on somebody's spaceship in a minute. Nah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, hey, long, as, long, long as I make it there and back, I'm cool. One question before we go. Yo, so we talking about YouTubers, and I meant to ask you this. Yes, because this shit can't happen. Jake Paul and Tyson. He cannot knock Tyson out. It's gonna my whole world up. Listen, so let's talk about that real quick. I told people, if Jay Paul- I already know you ain't trained. You ain't trained. It's cool, but Eddie had 30 pounds on me, but it's cool, it's cool. It's cool in the fight, whatever. I'm not, look, I took my fade. I got knocked out, cool, whatever. He, he, ha, ha, joke, joke, whatever. I tell the fans right now, <laughs> if Jake Paul beats Mike Tyson, y'all gotta leave me the alone now. Like, bro, I, I was I was the first one. I was the first one that, that got that got that got got cool. Respectfully. All right, cool. Now he be the person that's actually a champion and been knocking people out for a living for what he do. And he went against Mike Tyson. Can y'all leave me alone? Just I just all I'm asking. Leave me alone about waking Listen, up, about being If Tyson asleep. losing that fight, the lights gonna go out and we gonna jump his ass. That, There's hey. no way we can let Jake Paul take out Tyson. I refuse. Hey, I, I refuse. refuse. I refuse. That's Ain't going right, the lights gonna go out and they just gonna cut the lights on and Jake Paul gonna be sleeping in the ring. We can't let that <laughs> go down. We can't, that's for the culture. We cannot let Jake Paul whoop Tyson. And Jake Paul, this is me telling you, if you win, bro, tell your friends and people, leave me the alone now. Y'all go, y'all go with somebody else. And I'm <laughs> hey, not Nate, saying go fuck with Tyson. Though. Go with somebody else, but just leave me alone. I'm 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 good, bro. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna with Tyson. Did you train though? All did you I train? trained. I did everything I was supposed did to, bro. Train? I you did. Train. I tr man, come on. I ain't gonna you lie to you. This is me, bro. Yeah, he just, he got me, bro. It was a good one. Okay, okay, well. well I took it on chin, bro. It's all good. Mid. It's okay. But it's funny. Now, the rest of these yeah, won't okay. get in the I, ring I, with I me, though. Train. Yeah, it don't matter. They can go spar. Nah, whoever I mean, else wanted to get in the ring will, will holler at me. Three minutes, I guarantee they wouldn't. Nah, <laughs> I know the difference. I know the difference between boxing and street fighting. I am not a boxer. They don't understand. They don't understand, bro. They, they don't understand the difference between the two. So. Yeah, boxing is different. I'm not a boxer. I'm a street fighter. I, I could bite your ass. I could. I I could he said bite. Ass. I'm not doing that. I'm not no. I'm not boxing nobody. I, I will bite your <laughs> ass. Hit him I'm with not the boxing tight. nobody. He, he, with the he said you gonna bite him. Whatever. Bite so boy what? crazy. Yeah, you don't <laughs> gotta do. You don't gotta do that. Whatever. You got the, you got them dogs. Fight. You got them dogs at home. Go get them. What's their name? Listen. I said, I got six of them now. Oh, yeah, you got more? more? One of them passed away, man. God bless his soul. My favorite one, King, passed away. Guess, Guess where, where I was, was at? That? Where? Stank ass Boston. Y'all think I can make this shit up? <laughs> oh. My wife called me. I was in Boston when my dog died, man. Like, people think I can make this shit up, man. Boston be with me just as much as I be with them. <laughs> oh, no way. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Man, my mom's dog just died like two Yeah, years. man. I got another one just like him, man. He passed. He was eight years old, man. He had a he got a good run. Yeah, that's what's up, though, man. But you yeah, buried dude, him in the yard, man. He's still part of the family. You had me. You had me. I didn't want to walk through that, through, through your house with them dogs right there. Even them looking at me, I was scared. You know that? That's the point. That's the point. Well, listen, you can always come down and walk through Mike's house because he got some pretty, uh, what you got? I got I got German Shepherds. They he talk got about some, my German Shepherds. He got some pretty German it. Shepherds with nice fluffy hair. Hey, and they great hey, at playing hey, fetch. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, guess guess who won't walk through my door? Oh, you them, 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 them
That's because he ain't invited me. I'm waiting. Come on, man, don't do that. Hey, Nate, <laughs> all aside, bro, we know you're going to get well. We know you're going to get that kidney. So when you do, make sure you holler at me, bro. Uh, I'm pulling Let's up. Go. You already know. Straight, Straight to Miami. Play, my brother. Appreciate you, big dog. All right, Appreciate brody. You, Thank bro. you, my brother. Much love, yep. dog. Thank you, brother. Yep. OG's out. Yes, Bye, guys.